Good morning, I'm Ivan just Matthew Lee, and welcome to today's edition of From Heaven at Seven Family. The portion of scripture we're going to be reading from today comes from the book of Psalms, chapter 39, verse 1 from the New Living Translation, and it reads as follows. I said to myself, I will watch what I do and not sin in what I say. I will hold my tongue when the ungodly are around me. Family, isn't that portion of scripture so true that we as born again believers need to watch what we say and watch what we do so carefully in all areas of our lives, as well as when we have the ungodly, the sinners, the people around us who don't have God in their lives. We need to watch what we say and watch what we do at all times, and especially when they're around family, because they just are waiting for the opportunity for us to slip up in what we say and what we do. I know I've been there. I've done that. I've worn the t-shirt. Before I was saved in 2014, I used to be an atheist and I used to love watching the Christians to see if they were going to do or say something that was contrary to the word of God so that I could point fingers and say to them, yeah, you big Christian, you can't even live up to the standards that your God gives you and all that kind of stuff. That's how it is, family. That's how I used to be. And that's how the world around us is, is they're waiting for opportunities to point fingers at us and say, you're not living up to the standards that your God has set for you in the word of God. And that is why it is imperative that we be careful about what we say and what we do around the ungodly family. And it, this applies to all areas of our lives, not just when we're surrounded by the ungodly, when we're surrounded by the godly, and even when we're in the quiet space in our own homes, in the private space of our own homes, family. This applies because at the end of the day, we will reap a harvest of what we sow. If we do bad things and say bad things, we're going to reap a harvest of bad in our lives. And if we do good things and say good things, we're going to reap a harvest of good in our lives whether there are people watching or not family it's this it's the universal principle of seed time and harvest when we sow seeds it's just a matter of time before we're going to reap a harvest of exactly that which we've sown family so we need to be careful about what we say and what we do that we don't sin in what we do and that we don't sin in what we say because we'll reap a harvest of that and we need to be careful about not doing these things as well in front of the ungodly people around us so that they can then go and point fingers at us and say ugly things no family when we choose and watch carefully what we say and what we do, we will walk in the ways of the Lord. We will walk in the fruit of the Spirit. We will be God's salt. We will be His light and we will share His love with the world around us. When we are walking like this family, the, the lost and dying world around us, when they see us like this, they will see that we have something that they don't have, something that they deep down know that they desperately need in their lives, family. Because the Bible says it is the goodness of God that turns men to repentance. And the only way that these people are going to turn to repentance is if they can see the goodness of God in us in our lives, operating in our lives, and also operating through our lives into the world around us as we do good and say good continually, family. They are watching us closely. We need to be careful about how we conduct ourselves in front of the ungodly, and we need to be careful about how we conduct ourselves in general, because as I said earlier, it's, a, it's just a matter of seed, time, and harvest, and we want to reap a good harvest in our lives, and if we want to reap a good harvest, we need to sow good seeds. It's as simple as that. And family, I'm not saying that we need to be perfect, that we're not that 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 we have to be this perfect Christian at all times, put on this fake mask and this fake face. No, family, we're not called to be perfect. God knows that we cannot achieve perfection in our own strength, which is why he needed to send Jesus. If we could achieve perfection in our own strength, he wouldn't have needed to have sent Jesus, family. But no, we must do our best at what we can. But the beautiful thing is, as born again believers, God has given us his grace as well as his Holy Spirit living within us that'll enable us to walk free from these things that will enable us to take control over our tongues over what we say and what we do his grace is there to forgive us when we slip up and his holy spirit is there within us to empower us to grow from these things if you're struggling with these things where where you maybe lash out in anger in front of people or where you have a certain sin or something that you're struggling with cry out to the lord and say lord i'm struggling with this please help me use your Holy Spirit living within me to transform me from the inside out so that I can be the person that you've created me to be and to do the things that you've called me to do. And if you say that, and if you mean it, and if you want it, he will do start doing that work within you, family. And you just need to continue going forward, growing in your relationship with the Lord, and he'll continue to grow you to walk in his ways. And if you do that every day, if you ask that every day, and you continue to walk with the Lord, continue to read your Bible, continue to pray, continue to spend time in praise and worship and going to church, and doing the things that the Lord has said before you. If you continue to do that without, without failing, continuing to remain faithful, you will not recognize yourself 
who you are this time next year. If you just apply the principles, family, we just have to apply the principles. The Word of God has so many principles that are put forth to us of how we can walk a Christian life. And if we apply the principles, we will walk in just that family and the Holy Spirit within us will enable us to do it as well, family, because it's impossible for us to do it in our own strength. It's only possible by His grace and through His Holy Spirit living within us. So I want to encourage you, family, to cry out to the Lord, to ask Him to help you in this area, to give you the desire to change and by His Holy Spirit living within you, to give you the ability to change so that you can watch what you say and watch what you do at all times so that you can do good and say good and reap a harvest of just that and walk in the ways of the Lord for your life. Thank you, family. I hope that this message has blessed you and encouraged you. And before I end, I'd just like to close in prayer. Father God, we come to you in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for this day, that this is the day that you've made and we can rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we thank you for your word, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, for your Holy Spirit that lives within us. Lord, I pray for each and every single person listening, myself included, Lord, that you will continue to do a work within us, Lord, transforming us from the inside out, Lord, to be the people that you you've created us to be so that we can do the things that you've called us to do, Lord. Help us, Lord, to grow in your fruit of the Spirit and to walk in your fruit of the Spirit, Lord, so that we can be your salt, be your light, and spread your love wherever we go, Lord, so that people can see your goodness operating in our lives, Lord, so that they can see your goodness and that they can return to you, Lord, and return so that they can turn to you, Lord, and repent, Lord, and walk in your ways as well, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for all that you're busy doing and accomplishing in us, through us, and for us as your Holy Spirit continues to transform us from the inside out. And help us, Lord, to watch what we say and watch what we do in all situations and in all circumstances. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thanks for watching my video. I trust that the message blessed you and encouraged you. And if it did, I'd like to ask you to please hit the share button to spread this message and share it with your friends and family on social media so that they too may be blessed by this message. And before you leave, please give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment, let me know what you think about the contents of the video. And I'd like to invite you to please come back and join me for more episodes of From Heaven at 7, which premiere live every Monday to Friday at 7 a.m. Central African time on my Facebook page as well as my YouTube channel where the replays of the videos remain for those who are unable to watch the live premiere. If you watch this message today and were touched by this message and feel like you want to give your heart to the Lord and make the decision to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I would love to invite you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says salvation. And if you watch this message and felt blessed by it and feel led to sow a seed into the ministry, I'd like to encourage you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says giving. Alternatively, at the bottom of the screen right now is the ministry's banking details as well as our SnapScan QR code. And lastly, I would just like to ask you to please go and like and follow all my social media accounts if you haven't already to be kept up to date and in the loop with everything that's happening in the ministry and every time we upload a video just like this one. Thank you family. Enjoy the rest of your day and God bless. Yeah, 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 yeah.